It's been said that a good person or idea cannot go unnoticed for long, just as cream poured into coffee eventually rises to the top. That expression fittingly describes a 59-year-old Eastern Iowa stockbroker whose second career cultivates cream created in the corridor. I still feel like a kid. I, I don't understand the concept. I never understood the concept of retirement. David Gott still works 12 to 14 hour days, just not buying and selling securities. His future now lies in this. David's famous gourmet frozen custard. This stuff is different. It all started about eight years ago as a hobby when he combined his grandmother's homemade ice cream recipe with a church cookbook recipe and massaged it to his personal liking. He added some espresso and over time took it to picnics and other gatherings like rag bry. Everybody's like, wow, this is really good. This isn't just the best ice cream I've ever had. This is the best coffee I've had all week. Friends encouraged God to start selling it, and he created several other flavors. Vanilla, sea salt caramel, Dutch chocolate. Today, David's famous gourmet frozen custard is largely a family affair. We'll hook up a pump and a hose from there, right. and then it'll come in through here. His production manager's son, yeah, Isaac, real. shows me around the it's company's new plant in Tipton which just rolled out its inaugural run of 1,200 cases of six flavors two weeks ago. And I have to tell you, the lemon makes you pucker. This is stupid. It's all natural, and it's rich. Regular ice cream is 10 to 12 percent butterfat. Super premium is 14 to 16 percent. Our lowest is 24.7. So we have 50 percent more butterfat than anyone. And talk about growth, it took less than a year for David's famous gourmet frozen custard to reach the shelves of 150 high vee stores, several fairways, and 12 outlets in the Twin Cities, not to mention Tipton's Family Foods. Been doing really well. Dave even commented that we're out selling the big stores in the big cities, so. You think there's some hometown pride here? Okay. Oh, absolutely. Gott's first goal is to reach 1% of North America, which he says would equal roughly $150 million in annual sales. Then, 1% of the world. I think it would be fun to give samples in China. I think it would be fun to give samples in Scotland. Right now, God's production capacity is 8,000 pints a day, and he plans to add rhubarb and other flavors real soon. You've got to check it out for yourself.